This is probably the most common twin hook rig. It's pretty much the same as the other single hook semi-stiff rig, but with an added hook to it. We'll show you how to do that now. Okay, this time we're going to be doing um, a twin hook rig using the wire and the hook that we used in the single hook rig. If we need another hook, get that in position. Let's get and put a crimp on. Put the chafing gear on here. I'll be using a spring. Put the wire rig on, put the hook on. Now you can have any configuration you want, but I'm actually going to have both of the hooks facing the same way for the moment. Put the leader through the crimp. Turn the end. Push the chafing gear to the tag end. Pull up nice and tight. Now you'll notice when I'm crimping nylon, I actually start at the hook end and start crimping away from the hook. And when I do wire, I do it the other way around. There's a good reason for that. It's because if I start away from the hook and move towards the hook, then I'm actually I'm compressing the nylon and shrink, pulling the nylon into the chafing gear, and I don't want to do that. Okay, straighten these out. Now, again, we can use shrink tubing, or we can use tape. In this case, I'll use tape, personal preference. And here we're actually going to start at the hook end and work our way up. Bring it around. Get them sitting nice and straight. Take a bit of time to get it right. And you want the wire coming out of the bottom and in line to keep it straight. If you don't get this wire straight and it's on the side, the lure will spin. Okay, work your way up, stretching the tape on. Again, pull it nice and tight. Around the eye, go over it again, just to keep it nice and snug, and work your way up the crimp. And this is now the conventional semi-stiff rig. Now the hooks are in line, I'm actually going to bend them off a bit, so they're sitting at 60 degrees, and that's the way the hooks will sit in the water. Pull it up. And when you sit the hooks in the lure, put them both in the dark side because that's the way the lure will sit in the water and the lure will actually run through the water like that. Another really important thing to know is that when you're measuring a leader, you actually measure it from the end of the hook and you measure it to the end of the chafing gear. You don't measure it from the bottom of the crimps. You measure it from here to there and that's the length of your leader.